President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad told the International Durban Review Conference on Monday that United Nations Security Council has in the past 60 years supported the occupier Zionist regime and given it the liberty to commit any crime. Addressing the participants at the international meeting on racism in Geneva, he questioned the right to veto of world powers, saying it goes against human logic, sense of justice and equality. Referring to the fact that UNSC is the topmost source regarding international peace and security, Iran's president noted one cannot expect justice and peace in the world when all its equations are based on discrimination and force. He complained that a number of Western and European governments consider themselves committed to the genocide racists and actually support them. Referring to the historical facts that lead to the formation of Zionist regime in Palestine, he said following World War II, some Western powers displaced a nation and moved a number of Jewish people from Europe, U.S. and other countries to their land under the pretext that the Jews were victimized, therefore establishing a totally racist regime in the occupied land. Ahmadinejad also posed a question on the origins of the recent war, such as U.S. invasion on Iraq and Afghanistan, adding that the reason was little more than the conceit of the U.S. administration to expand its domination, thereby it destroys a lofty culture, eliminates potential and actual threats to Israel from regional countries, and loots the Arab countries' energy resources. Stating that hegemony and self-conceitedness are the root causes of racism, discrimination and tyranny, the president added that today most of the racists pay only lip service in condemning the phenomena. Iran's chief executive noted when several powerful countries are allowed to take decisions for other countries based on self-interests, they can easily trample on all human values and laws. President Ahmadinejad called for fundamental changes in the infrastructure of the United Nations Security Council and questioned the legitimacy of the right to veto. The Iranian president also called for change in the monetary and financial system of the world. He called on the intellectual scientists and officials of the world to play their historical role at current times, which he described as a sensitive juncture. Iranian president said capitalism, like communism, has a wrong concept of the world and its development and tries to impose its will on the world people, while merely pursuing materialistic goals rather than justice, freedom, brotherhood, affinity and kindness. Meeting with Secretary General of Organization of Islamic Conference, or OIC, on sidelines of Geneva meeting, Ahmadinejad said solving problems of Islamic world is possible through campaign against racism, urging the Islamic countries to focus on the matter. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad pointed out that the existing problems in the Islamic world have emerged due to the influence or the interference of the foreign countries, especially the United States and the Zionist regime. The president emphasized that maximum result in condemnation of the racism and the Zionist regime should be achieved from the Durban II conference, adding that the main supporters of the Zionists were absent from the meeting. Ahmadinejad pointed out the need for a confrontation with certain indifferences observed within the Islamic world as a complementary move with confronting effectively the major enemies. He said as long as the existing culture and political structure permit the occurrences of massacres, genocide and occupation, we cannot expect that the major world problems would be solved, basically. The president of the Islamic Republic of Iran reiterated the ruling culture over the international organization has its roots in racism and it is totally unjust. Ahmadinejad then referred to the situation in Afghanistan, arguing the proposed solutions for Afghanistan so far have been wrong and the proper solution for that country is trusting the Afghan nation, strengthening the national foundations and national solidarity, and strengthening the bonds of friendship and cooperation between Pakistan and Afghanistan. The Secretary General of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, or OIC, for his part presented a report on the moves he has made and mentioned the need for entire Islamic countries' cooperation with that organization. Ekmel Adin Esanoglu, meanwhile, expressed full support for the Islamic Republic of Iran's peaceful nuclear program, reiterating the Organization of Islamic Conference supports the Islamic Republic of Iran's nuclear program and adopts quite clear stance on the issue.